Hello, I'm Mike Mazzalongo for BibleTalk.tv, and this is your Monday Morning Devotional. Author Robert Morley said that the main rule for catching bass is letting the fish run with the bait. You want to make sure that the fish feels no resistance so it will think it has the worm with no strings attached. The bass will be lulled into a false sense of confidence so he can feel safe enough to swallow the entire bait, hook and all. Once this happens, you just give a strong tug on the line and bring him in. When the hook sinks in, there's no way for the fish to escape, so start the fire. It's filet time. Now, there's a disturbing parallel here in the way Satan works in luring us into destruction. First, he dangles the bait, and like bait for fish, human bait is always particularly desirable. It can be the promise that we will be noticed as first, among others, pleasure of some kind, or easy gain. But whatever it is, the bait is always designed for our weaknesses. Next, and most importantly, he will allow us to run with the bait, thinking we can enjoy ourselves with no strings attached. The Bible clearly says that the wages of sin is death, Romans chapter 6, verse 23. But in various ways, we are enticed into believing that we can actually disobey God and not suffer the consequences now or later. Then, when we least expect or want it, we feel the yanking of the line that brings us to the awful realization that we are hooked by sin and must face the prospect of losing our freedom and our souls. For some, the hook will only sink in when they are before God at judgment. Fish never seem to learn between real food and bait. Let's be smarter than they are. If it's according to God's word, it's a blessing. If it requires disobedience, it's bait. Knowing which is which will make a real difference to our eternal lives. Discussion questions. Number one, what factors tend to make us more susceptible to temptation? Name three. Number two, in your opinion, why do some people repeatedly give in to the same temptation? Number three, what three things can Christians do to strengthen themselves in order to successfully resist temptation?